My name is Amish Lakey. I'm a pharmacist owner at Three Shoppers Drug Mart in Mississauga, Ontario. I've been a pharmacist for over 20 years. In Ontario, doctors are overloaded with work and the hospitals are busy already as it is. And we want to reduce the workload in our healthcare system by using pharmacists to be able to provide quicker and better care for our patients. On January 1st uh, in Ontario, minor ailments was launched by Ontario government where pharmacists were able to assess and prescribe for 13 minor ailments. So basically the process begins where the patient comes to our pharmacy. Uh, we'll speak to one of my pharmacy assistants, letting them know that they want to be assessed for the minor ailment and the condition, at which point the my pharmacy assistant will let them know that they can either make an appointment or if they're willing to wait a few minutes, the pharmacist can assess them at the same time. Yeah, for example, if the patient came in with a condition hemorrhoid, I would sit down in the counseling room with them. I would get all the patient information, the age, gender, and all that. And thereafter, we do launch a smart form, which is a digital form. In that digital form, it walks us through questionnaires that we should be asking. We have to always start with assessing for red flags. So there are a few questions I have to ask before we proceed further. Huh. Uh, are you experiencing severe pain? If they do have any of those red flags, then I will refer them to the doctor. If they do not have any of those red flags, I would proceed further to assess them. Once I do go through those questionnaires, and at which point if I do feel that the patient is in need of any medication or a cream, then I would go ahead and prescribe that. I will prescribe you with an ointment. Uh, the prescription that I'm gonna give you today is for Anusol HC. One example would be Anusol HC. I would prescribe that and ask them, counsel them on how to use it. Once we do decide to prescribe for them, we will always walk them through all and let them know that they have a choice too. They can fill it with us or they can go to any pharmacy of their choice and we can transfer that prescription to them and they can fill it there. If they do decide to fill it here, we would fill it here and counsel them through it. Regardless of it, we would follow up with the patient in about three to four days to ensure that uh, the therapy that was prescribed for them is working and they are improving. Wonderful, okay. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. And along with that, I would give them some non-pharmacological things to consider. Things like uh, using a stool softener, using sitz bath, the Epsom salt, using some hemorrhoidal wipes to help them with making their lives better. Right. Medication's ready. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. That was fast. Oh, yes. <laughs> we do fax the doctor the final assessment or whatever was prescribed. And we also document uh, follow-ups with the patient. Have a good day. Thank you so much, sir. Really yeah. appreciate your time. You're welcome. <laughs> they actually love it. I've had multiple times where patients have said, this should have come out a long time ago. And they really do appreciate that we're doing this for them. <laughs>